So of course I'm going to try to put the rubber dam again. I just So, so the first step uh, is to cut the the sprue. I'm just gonna remove, put the light a little bit for the side the camera, for you can see. Now maybe I can use the, the microscope for you see better. And the first step. So is to cut this the sprue. Okay? So we have the sprue here. So with a diamond, with a diamond wheel, we're just gonna uh, cut this sprue. The end piece. Okay. I think now it's okay. And I just remove. Like you see, it's very easy to remove them. Just put it smooth. to get a little bit more that's okay so I just get the sprue and now I'm gonna start with the polishing paste and I'm gonna start uh, with the pink one just to prepare the wheel for the Okay, so this is the, the wheel, and then I'm going to just take a little bit of the pink paste, and then I'm going to pass on the, And when we pass the surface look, we all almost immediately start to have some shiny look for the... And this is the first one. You see? We have almost some immediately... Okay, now I'm going to pass for the second polishing paste, for the grey one. I just 
change the wheel, the disc. I'm going to work with and then with this uh, gray polishing paste, look, it's from Diashine, okay? Diashine from DH Technologies. So I take a little bit and then I'm going to pass on the on the overlay so also we know we have some uh, a lot of questions of the participants of the of this webinar so, but because of the reasons of time, maybe we're gonna in the future uh, we don't have time for uh, for the to answer for all the questions. So in the future, you're gonna reply this webinar, not live, of course. We're gonna pass this this this, this uh, webinar again, and then you're gonna uh, direct. You're gonna answer for all of your questions uh, for me and Dr. Luis Cortreal gonna answer for you directly in other day we're gonna announce them of course the the day for you can just uh, ask and for expose what uh, all, um, all your doubts all your questions okay so for finishing I just gonna use these Wheel, okay. They have, they, they have a, a chamois on the middle, so they have a very eye, eye shine. So So you can see the brightness, look for the brightness of the surface, okay? So it's very easy. So it's done. I'm just going to clean with the gaze the, the surface. Okay, just going to clean with the gaze. And you can see the brightness of the surface. Okay. So at this time we have two options to do. We just can cement. Of course, you have to prepare the inner surface for the addition. But you can cement this restoration, or you can you can add some tints, some characterization, some individualization. For this patient, if you see, of course, other two, they don't have some circles with brown stains or white stains. So it's not need to, to do it, okay? But I'm gonna show you how easy it's to do, okay? Just apply a very little bit of uh, uh, brown uh, tints in the, in the, in the deep uh, of the circles. Uh, but uh, uh, of course, it depends on the case. You don't need to do this, okay? Just to show all the possibilities you have to, uh, uh, you have to wh when, uh, when you work with this material. So the first, the first step uh, is if you want to make some um, some characterization, okay, you should send blast or make some roundness on the surface you want to apply. But you ask me, so, so why you uh, why are you just polishing and then you're gonna make the sand blasting? Okay, I'm just gonna sand blasting the uh, the area, then I'm gonna apply the tints, okay, the other surface I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand blast, so they maintain the polishing. So I just gonna apply a little bit okay just a little bit on the occlusal surface I have no so I remove a little bit the shine of the middle and now now I'm gonna clean with the with the uh, alcohol
okay? You can just wash with water and also you can, if you want, you can put in a ultrasounds in the bath if you want. So I just clean. Just change my gloves, it's a little dirty about the polishing paste. And now I just gonna apply a little bit of uh, adhesive, Scotch Bond Universal, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, in this area, I'm going to apply the then I'm going to pass a little bit of gentle of air and I'm going to let cure and then I'm going to apply Then I'm going to apply the, the tint, brown tint, and light cure again. And then polishing it. Okay. So now, with a brush, I just have here the, this is brown tint. I use for this situation. I'm gonna use the paint, the color plus the, from from Care. Okay, the brown from Care, the color plus. So with the brush, I just take a little bit, okay, on the brush, and then I just is gonna apply. not too much okay so when you have some uh, kind of a lot of tints what I do I just first apply them but it's too much so I'm going to pick up in a, in a clean micro brush okay in a clean micro brush and then I just touch on the surface, like you see, and remove some intensity, okay? And it's too much natural, like you see. So in this case, you don't need too much tint, too much tints, so I think it's enough, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna apply more, so I just make the QI cure now. And I'm gonna let cure for 40 seconds because when you when you when you work with the uh, tints, uh, we need to put a little more light, okay? When you like cure, so if you use, for example, 13 seconds for a composite resin, if you you should use at least 40 seconds for a uh, tint, composite resin tint. So the difference of this material compared with the ceramic, for example, for the ceramic, if you want to add stains. You need to, uh, you, you have to need a furnace and to put in the furnace the restoration, okay? So, this material, you don't need any furnace, so you just work with them uh, like a composite, like if you make a direct composite resin restoration. It's the same way, okay? So, it's done, you can see. Now, I'm gonna just uh, apply a little bit for protect, just to protect a little this, uh, this stain. I'm gonna apply a little bit the a uh, little bit of flow, composite resin flow. It's like a glaze. It's like I, I pass a, uh, I just use a, 
a glaze. I want to make the same. I'm going to use, for example, okay, this uh, this is FuelTech Supreme uh, Flow. I just take a little bit on the brush, like you see, okay. So a little bit on the brush, and then I'm going to apply on the restoration. Like that. It's just like a glaze, you see? Just to protect. And I use this this kind of flow because this is also nanotechnology material. So I put all my crown in nanotechnology material. That's why. And then I'm gonna pass a little gentle a uh, bit of, of air and light pure again. So I have almost finished the, my individualization. So now I just need to pass the the um, the wheel, the last wheel of before polishing with the channels in the middle, and that's it. And then I'm gonna sandblast the inner surface, apply the single bond universal, scotch bond universal, prepare the tool, and make the cementation. Okay, like you see, it's almost finished, so I just need this wheel. Okay, which I show you before, and in the Oculus outside. I just pass again a little bit. Okay. And then we have our restoration done. Okay? So you see, very natural. So it's, we're going to just apply the oxide alumine uh, on the inner surface, you see, this is the inner surface, so I just apply in the inner surface. Surface like made surface, okay, by the, the, the application of the oxide alumine. Okay. So I'm gonna clean a little bit more with the with alcohol. Just apply air. And 
now it's okay, it's ready for the application of the Scotch Bond Universal, like we have the Silano and we have the Adazin, and then we just hold on a little bit, and then uh, we can just uh, uh, well, prepare the tooth, okay? Just now I put the, the rubber down, so uh, we'll wait a little bit for the, to the rubber down. Um,